Yes, it's happening. I'll never have to be alone again. What's going on? I have created life, Blue. My first creation that didn't stem from a human subject. Another rainbow friend? This is more than a regular rainbow friend. She is going to be my love. How do you know she'll fall in love with you? I engineered her to fall in love with the first person she sees, which will be me. She should awaken any minute now. How do I look? Uh-oh! <gasps> She's alive! She's alive! Hello, my love. Good morning. Oh, actually, it is night time, so good night. But I'm not saying good night like goodbye, I'm saying hello. <clears throat> what I mean to say is, it's so wonderful to meet you. Me? Oh, I'm so sorry. You should pick a name for yourself. Hmm, perhaps I should be Red. I'm actually Red, but if you want it, you can have it. No, something like Red. Scarlet? I like that. I will be called Scarlet. And who are you? I'm Blue. Blue, it's lovely to meet you. Uh, Red, I have some bad news. I think she might have seen me first. Blue, you're just so handsome. What? No, you're supposed to be in love with me. I'm sorry, I just don't see you like that. Come on, baby. We need to get to know each other if we're going to be together forever. I've got to change her mind somehow. Guys, this is, uh, Scarlet. She's my new friend. Oh, don't be silly, baby. I'm his girlfriend. Girlfriend? That's crazy. Good for you. An intruder. I got dibs on this one. No, I can handle it. You boys, step aside. Guys, this is a mistake. She's supposed to fall in love with Red, not me. The heart wants what it wants, Blue. Well, it needs to want Red. If not, I'm afraid he'll do something drastic to her or to me. Did you get him? <sighs> Got him. Whoa! Nice to meet you all, but we're in need of some alone time. What a woman. She's beautiful. Well, I like her personality. You guys are shallow. We're not shallow. You're just blind. So, what should we talk about? Uh, the weather is nice. I've never seen the outside before. Uh, look, Scarlet, there's something I need to tell you. <sighs> I already know what you're going to say, Blue. Oh, thank goodness. I love you too. That's not what I- We can practically read each other's minds. I knew we were meant to be. Come here. Ooh, playing hard to get, I see. Ooh, I love it, Chase. Fred, I need your help. She's in love with me. Oh, wow. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to steal it from you. Wait, what are you working on? Oh, nothing. Fred, are you trying to kill me? He wouldn't kill you, just knock you out. Long enough for me to dispose of you. I'm not trying to steal Scarlet from you. Why are you freaking out like this? She was my last chance at love. You don't know what it's like to be this alone. Growing up, I had no friends. No one would talk to me. No one would play with me. I was a complete lone wolf. But there was one girl who was always so nice to me. She would pick me first in dodgeball. Pick me to be her science partner. Ribbon. Pick me to be her reading buddy. We grew up together, inseparable. This is the part where you run away. But despite all the obvious signs, I couldn't tell her feelings were beyond friendship. Of course, I had no time for love anyway. I was studying to be the world's most brilliant scientist. And one day, I realized I had taken her friendship for granted, and she loved me. 
It took her leaving for me to see that I loved her too. But I was far, far too late. She was the only one who ever loved me, and I blew it. I made Scarlet to love me blue. If that means getting rid of the competition, I'll do what I have to do. I have one other solution. I made an anti-love potion. You already had it made? Why? Just in case there was a mistake, or if we just didn't vibe. We need to give these to her. When she inhales it, then sees your face, she'll fall out of love with you. Oh, honey bear! Scarlet, listen! I found you! I am listening to you. I'm listening to your heart. Well, listen to my words. Yes, I will marry you! Wait, now's your chance. Give it to her! I mean, uh, yes! Of course, my dear. These are for you. Oh, Blue. They're just beautiful. I feel... funny. I know how you feel, Scarlet. And it's okay. I don't like you like that. Ugh. Huh? And it's not about you. It's that Red here. He really, really likes you. And I can't break the bro code by stealing someone he likes. You were literally made for each other, can't you see? I see. I hope we can still be friends. No, Blue. We can't. And if I can't have you... Then no one can! If I can't be the love of your life, then you can't have a life at all! Scarlet, even if Blue doesn't love you, I will! I don't want love. I want revenge! Blue, lead her over there. She'll be in range of the laser. Oh, honey buns! Look over here! Is she going to be okay? Yes, she'll just be unconscious. For someone as strong as her, though, not for long. What happened? Scarlet, darling, are you okay? I think so. Look, I know it wasn't fair of me to try and control you by making you fall in love with me. But would you consider giving me a chance after all? No. At least, no, for now. I understand. Sorry I accidentally broke your heart. Sorry I tried to kill you in a heartbroken, hate-filled rampage. Goodbye. I hope to see you again someday. <laughs>